Dominic Zator is officially the first name on the Canadian men's national team call-up roster for this March window in the CONCACAF Nations League matches as Dominic Zator will be joining the side for the first time since 2019 and this is absolutely amazing news that has all been linked through his Polish club in Corona Kielce. But that is right guys, welcome back to On The Rise, the latest Canaman team news as Dominic Zator will be heading back to the Canadian men's national team for the first time since 2019. He is a had an amazing journey, a great journey back to the top to join the Canadian men's national side, going to C Poland, to Corona Kielce, proving himself once again, and he has been absolutely brilliant. And of course, that form, his unbelievable form in Poland, hasn't gone unrecognized as John Herdman has called him up back to the Canadian men's national side for these two matches in the Nations League of course, in this March and international window. And Dominic Zator was, of course, very much deserved of this call-up, as it was leaked earlier today by his club side within Poland in Corona Kielce, where they did say this in, quote, Great news, Dominic Zator with a call-up to training camp of the Canadian national team. At the end of March, the Canadians will play two CONCACAF Nations League games, and that was all leaked through Corona Kielce's official Twitter, and that is just brilliant news. It is amazing to finally know someone who's on the roster and to know that it's Dominic Zator finally getting that call up it is so exciting for myself I really wanted to see Dominic Zator two players that I really needed to see on this roster were Dominic Zator which that one has of course now been checked off and it's Victor Latore Latore I'll get onto in hopefully another video in the next couple of days but seeing Dominic Zator get onto this roster is such an abundance of excitement of course I love this side I love Canada but seeing such a fairy tale and such an exciting story like Dominic Zatoris, going to the CPL, proving himself, going through it, being one of the best defenders in the CPL history, in my opinion, and then getting a huge transfer to Poland, where some people thought maybe it's a step down, going to not a great league, a minor league. I don't think it's a minor league. You got some very good teams at the top of the Polish league, but... He's gone to the Polish League, he's taken that challenge, and just seven games in Poland, he has proven himself, and he has been absolutely phenomenal. He's such a versatile, such a John Herdman-like player at that. Such a player that you'd love to have on your national side as well. You look at what Dominic Zator can bring to the Canadian men's national side, he right now, for Corona Kielce, is playing and starting at right back, where he has started all seven of the matches since joining the club at Corona Kielce, playing a total of 600 and of course, 10 minutes, going for 7 for 7 starts. Of course, the Calgary native, who sits at 6 foot tall, is an amazing player, an amazing defender, and he has proved that at his time at Corona Kielce. He is most predominantly lined up at right back every single match for Corona Kielce, but also, like I said, very versatile player, does play center back as well. Very tall player as well, very good at moving the ball forward, but defensively, he has been a rock. You look at either side of the pitch, whether you want to look defensively, offensively, Dominic Zator has been absolutely lights out and has looked phenomenal in all of his appearances for Corona Kielce. You just got to look at his stats. His match ratings on football has been absolutely brilliant. 7.6, 8.2, 5.5, but that is down to his club side who did lose 5-1. Tavor to Posman, which was definitely not just on Dominic Zator. That was a whole side effort where they did lose 5-1. So that definitely does not go down to him. You want to look at his other performances. 7.5, 7.5, 7.7. Like those other ones I said, 7.6 and 8.2. I know stats aren't always the key telling factor, but I've watched a couple of his games and Dominic Zator has looked absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited he's getting this call up. It is so deserved, guys. Like I said, first time since 2019 he is going to be on the Canadian roster. But it is such an exciting player to have. Just seeing his journey, it is going to inspire or should inspire a lot of young Canadian talent as well. Whether you're in the CPL, whether you're a young college player, whether you're in university, or even at the young grassroots or club level, looking at Dominic Zator should be such an inspiration to a lot of young Canadians. It makes me want to go out there and play football once, or get on the pitch and try to get out there, of course, once again. But Dominic Zator, what a fairy tale story. Going from the CPL back in 2019, on the Canadian roster our team has improved so much but he has still found a way to get himself back to the top level proving himself at an extremely high rate 
and producing for a very good now Corona Kielce side who are playing very good since the arrival of Dominic Sator. I think he can, he, he of course won't be starting ahead of Alistair Johnson at right back. That would of course be very tough to prove off, but hopefully he gets a substitute appearance. Hopefully he gets to show himself on the pitch, but it'll be very interesting to see where he lines up or where he will be in this depth chart now for Canada. Whether Don, John Herdman sees him as a center back or a right back, it doesn't matter. Dominic Zator is on this Canadian roster. He is a Canaman T player once again for the first time since 2019. A, a call up that for me is a joyful one. It's a very exciting one as I'm a huge Dominic Zator supporter as we all know on the channel. But guys, let me know what you guys think about Dominic Zator being leaked and is back on the Canaman tee. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Drop a like and let's push for 100 subs. We're very close, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.